came sprinting over, and I love that, y'all. What kind of shoes are you wearing, though? Well, they're not fun to walk in. I'll say that. I'm sure the pointy black pumps aren't the comfy wear that Miranda started her Sunday off in, but I don't know if Stuart Weitzman wants to hear that about his design, Miranda. <laughs> I believe that's what we would call I'm acting up. on the 2023 Grammys red carpet. I bring flats, and like I put on my heels at the last minute, and then I take them off. Like, when I'm, like the tables are good because you can hide your feet under if you don't have your shoes on. Yeah, Miranda gets a prime seat for music's biggest night, and that kind of privilege means that Miranda can kind of be a Music City queen. I'm redneck enough to take my shoes off at the Grammys. <laughs> well, she looked right at home on the red carpet in his arms, her husband Brendan McLaughlin's arms, of course, before she rocked her solo pose in her crystallized fringe dress. And before she hit the Grammy scenes, Miranda got a little promo plug in there and showed that she'd be smelling like that country money on the red carpet with her Idle Wind Velvet Rodeo Perfume. I love the Grammys because it's an opportunity to mix with all the genres, you know what I mean? Like we kind of get in our country music bubble in Nashville sometimes. Yeah, so Miranda showed that wandering spirit and checked out the Clive Davis party the night before the Grammys and hung out with her gal pal and badass friend Avril Lavigne and posed with Sheryl Crow, Melissa Etheridge, and Rita Wilson. Some guy ruined the shot though, getting right behind Miranda's head. Terrible. At least she got a solo shot with Melissa. I met her and she was so cool and sweet and Charlie Puth sat at our table and I was just like, okay, this is, this is cool. I get to get out of my little comfort zone, you know? And while Times and Miranda loses all four of her categories, sure feels strange. And the Grammy goes to. The Grammys really do avoid awarding her whenever they can. A beautiful time, Willie Nelson. Love Willie Nelson, but Palomino, come on. Another incredible album from her. But I digress. Miranda's pursuit of happiness isn't about trophies, but it might be about getting to hang out with Adele, her fellow Las Vegas resident. Get up here, best friend, Adele. Who she got to applaud as Adele won Best Pop Vocal Performance. And this pick alone has a lot of people hoping <laughs> that it means that a collaboration is going to happen just because they talked at a award show for 30 seconds. <laughs> what did you think of Miranda's 2023 Grammys look, and should she have walked away with a couple of trophies? The answer is yes.